Hi, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach about the REST controllers. So let's create a controller package. So go to the project. You can see the folder which is SRC. You have to expand it. Inside the XRC folder, you have a main folder. Main folder. Inside the main folder, you have a Java folder. Inside the folder, we have a, a com spring uh, school dot uh, first step. This is our package. It will be created while we creating the uh, Spring Boot application. So here we are. I'm going to create this controller. So right click new. Here you have to select as a package. Here you can see the option package. Click on this one. Here I'm going to create the package as controller. Package your control. Right. Your controller package has been created successfully. Uh, here I'm going to create the file as new. Here I'm going to create as test controller. Class I'm going to create a this is a class you have create test controller. Test control. You have type like this. This is a camel case you have to use here. The capital here also capital. This is the rules of Java you have to follow them. This is the industrial experience, right? Press enter key. You have Class has been created as a test controller class has been created. Right? This is simple stuff you have to create a controller part. Right? Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create the rest controller. Rest controller means if you have a sender API request. Okay. Front end means you have a front end application in React. You have to uh, register form you have to uh, register the uh, form okay you have to uh, for first name last name address you have to register fill the form and click save button it co it's come to the uh, the api rest, uh, request will be coming from the coming to spring boot application so the that's the purpose we have to choose the rest controller it will be communicate the api request rest controller if you are not putting the annotation it is not a rest controller rest controller annotation is must when you communicate with the rest uh, api part when you handling the api part rest control is important stuff after the another control origin is a cross origin the cross origin mean what is a cross origin here is it is if it is the request is coming from uh here you can see the you can see here put it here something like that you have to put it here here your request is coming from uh, some mobile application you have to put this path api path over here the only that particular uh, service only it will be allow allow here right if you are the cross origin mean only the particular part only uh, allowing here or if you are using the front end application spring boot uh, react as a front end application uh, you have to that 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 completely entire application front end will be designed by React. So all the the back end will be managed by Spring Boot application. The request the uh, React API you have to call it here. The particular only that server only it will be working. That is a cross origin, right? If you are if you are not putting this path here, the API path, it will be handling any origin, any area. API request will be working over here. Right. Now here, now I'm going to do another thing is that test control. This is class test control I have created. So here inside the controller, we have created the method public void get my app. Right. Starting and closing the method. Here I'm going to write string. my app you write my app whatever function you have to write my app equal this is my first application that's it now here you have to write the uh stop right right so if you are you don't have type 
system dot out dot print in IntelliJ application you have stout south here so you you have to import it it will be coming over here here you have to this my app you have called a my app over here right here this one my app variable you have to here inside my app variable i have to call it this is my first application it will be it will be a variable this if you are calling here this one this one will be the printer print, right so here if you are accessing the rest controller this class controller we have to use it the request mapping okay if you call this control you have to use this just mapping okay you're right all right request map you can see the annotation request mapping here you're right like this you have to simply you have to write test this is also correct if you're calling this, if you're calling this one it will be access okay it will be uh, it this method will be printed okay so this is not efficient way to write the like like this you have to write api v1 slash test why you are right like this if you are right like this this is a professional way to accessing the api request this is a professional way to uh, access them accessing the api request api means api the version the version one two you can like this this is a test this is a full control name this is test right so here you can write the annotation to post mapping post mapping that's it that's the thing you have to write like this okay now let's run and check whether it's working fine or not if you click run it you can see the building you can see whether it's running or working or not you can check here right you can check it's working here then if there are no, no error, we will be, if you are not uh, installing the Postman in your machine, you must install the Postman. I just installed the Postman, right? You go to the respective website Postman and in, in, install it. The Postman which is used to check the API request. If the API request is uh, successfully coming or not, we will be able to check via the Postman, right? So click new, HTTP request. You have to click like click this here we have to uh write the request okay so here if you go here you can get what is the port we are running this is a port where we will be running right so we write localhost http so write like this okay http localhost but the port you are running 88 okay in your if you are uploading this project in the server the server you have to write like this https your server name it will be running okay here if you are checking this is not server our local machine has a server this has a server okay so that we have to write this is this one right so after that this api request we have checked with the this api request which one this one which api request slash this api request whether it's working fine or not you can check here slash this api request right this one should be the post method, right? This is post method. If you click on this one, you can check here. Right? Right, it one. One means it's go here. If the post is coming the API, if you are running the project, it's go this particular address. Right? It's goes to a particular address. So here. This is the port in our project. We are calling the test controller. Test controller go to the request mapping. It's API version one and test. It's coming to here. What is the method you are coming to the post mapping? So get app. What is you are you are writing the print statement? It will be written. But you are you, you can't see here. Well, only the one. If it is one, the request is succeed. If it is zero, it is not succeed. Uh, but it is not printed in Postman. It will be printed in your spring the IntelliJ application here. Yeah, it will be printed. You can check here. It will be printed. Right. Here. Now you may be if you are writing it wrong. 
test one click here here the addressing wrong so that it's not found okay right this is the things you have to write i hope you guys will understood the things well right okay of course origin i already explained but what the purpose you have to write okay restful api we have to use this restful api you have to call the restful control annotation the request mapping the it will be uh, used to identify the methods this one this controller will be using to share this method this is cost origin is must okay in, in api your communication it will be must right thank you for watching i'll be seeing my next lecturing thank you